you might get really mad when you learn that you don't own anything. When you start learning that everything that you register with the government, you start effectively fractionalizing your control over the title of that thing. You start giving up rights in exchange for privileges. People get really mad. Like when people find out that they don't own their kids, that they're the, they're not the father and mother of their sons and daughters. They're the parental guardians and that they've invited the church um, rather, they've invited the state into their marriage. They have a third party. People hate that one. People really hate that one. People get mad too when you say that they don't own their homes and they, they like go into their mortgage documents and they look at it and they realize they have this fee simple mortgage. And the fee simple mortgage basically means that if they pay it all off, they'll own the building that's on the land, but they won't own the land. So they continue to pay state taxes on the land even after they pay it off. And the likelihood of them being able to take the building that they uh, they purchased with them somewhere is nearly impossible. They can sell the building, but they don't actually own the land. And then you uh, you start to look at the car, your automobile, and people are like, "I have a I have a pink slip." And the pink slip is what the state gives you in lieu of the manufacturer's certificate of origin, which is really the superior title on the vehicle. They go ahead and take that for you too when you register your vehicle with the Department of Motor Vehicles, and you don't realize that. The moment you bought your car, you don't actually have the, the superior documents on that car. And so you're operating this thing that you don't have the superior documents on. And then you find out that our money is just effectively paper currency that is based upon a whole lot of different factors that is nearly impossible for even economists, economists to understand. But what you can see is the value of that paper money keeps dropping in value for the last 70 years. And it... It hasn't been so great uh, since it went off of the respective gold standard. And then you start to realize, you're like, well, how do, how is it that, like, what is, what is the state actually like borrowing against? What, what's the, what's the common denominator here? What, what is the property that the state, the, the government uses to borrow against? And then you start to find out that it's the people for future earnings and the future taxes that you're going to be paying into that system is effectively what they're borrowing against. It's your hard work, your effort. And you start to realize you're like, oh, whoa, I am the collateral. That trillion dollar loan and all that stuff, that's like they're banking on the hours that you're going to work and they're banking on the hours that your children are going to work to pay back a loan that's basically impossible to pay back. If they give a loan to the government, let's say, and they give them a trillion dollars, and the debt is a trillion dollars. It's more than a trillion dollars, but let's just say it's a trillion dollars. They would need to pay back the trillion dollars plus the interest on the trillion dollars. But if they only gave them a trillion dollars, the people who printed the money and there's interest, they wouldn't be able to have enough money to pay back the loan because there wasn't enough money printed in the first place to pay back the loan. Like just the basics of it, when you start understanding how it works, you start going, <laughs> things are kind of rigged that this system is really not designed for you to own anything in it. It's actually not yours. Any of it, none of it is yours. You're getting use of some of it, but it's like really not even under your control. Your bank accounts can have the state go into them when they want and take your things when it's connected to your person or your social security number. Uh, there's a variety of things that can happen to you. your property can be taken away. If you have an LLC or a state run entity, they can change the rules or laws regardless of how long you are already in business and properly doing your business. It's not common, uncommon that I hear from people that have been doing their business for years when the state just arbitrarily decides to change the rules, making it much more expensive to do the business that they've been doing for 30 plus years. These types of things are not uncommon. It's because in that system, you're participating through contract, but you're not understanding what you're actually participating in. You don't understand that they're, you're, you're contracting with other parties. You have to fulfill on these obligations and contracts that you're creating. And when you understand that, you start to understand that you're playing someone else's game. You're in the Federal Reserve Arcade. <laughs> you're playing someone else's game and you, you don't get to control the rules. The only way that I know of that you can really make a difference is you start learning your standing, you start learning what you actually are, that you're alive and what that actually means. And you begin to learn that if you're going to play in someone else's game, that you can create your own game. 
And if you create your own game, you can start to build your own rules. You can start to do things pretty much your own way. The only rules that are inherent or true to all beings that roam around on this world is that you just don't murder people, you don't steal, you don't commit fraud, you don't make gross trespasses or destroy other people's property, and then you're basically good. For most people, most people that I meet seem to be able to handle those things. They seem to not have any problems with it. So if you're the kind of person that's like, I can not murder, I can not commit fraud, and I can not steal, then you might want to start learning how to create your own game, because these games, this Federal Reserve arcade games, as you download them and as you, <laughs> you understand what the terms of service are, you start to realize that you're losing pretty much control over everything that you have, including your intellectual property, and everything that you do is really getting borrowed against you. All these loans and all these debts, they're actually on your back. And uh, that's like getting heavier and heavier. So if you'd like a different way, what I'd suggest is start learning about how trusts work, private trusts, common law trusts, constitutional trusts, all the different type of trusts that allow you to create them in your living and private capacity.